it yeah. being shortly after five o'clock, right. I'd like to call the meeting to order. <laughs> Agenda review and disposition. I'm all set, ma'am. Any corrections or amendments to the minutes of May 3rd and the non-public of April 19th? There being none, <coughs> they stand approved as written. Mr. Halloran? Everything I have, Madam Chair, is included in the committee reports. And no students, so... No, he's, uh, he's very busy today. He's got something going on, so I apologize for him not being able to be here. You're on, Mr. Parsons. Well, we're in the tail end, heading home. Uh, extremely busy. Uh, again, I think I reported last time, but I had the good fortune of going down to uh, Manchester. We had two students receive an award, the uh, Francis Whaley Parker Award. Uh, the union leader picks nine students, one of the month. They, I think they do two seniors, and you know, and there's a, a, a whole a committee that uh, picks out the best student for their uh, academics, uh, volunteer piece, and the essay. We had two students, Stephen Butoff, uh, one in September for the seniors, and just so happened that Lily Friedman, the junior, won the following month in October. So I got to go down there with their counselors and their parents to a banquet. And at the end of the night, they pick one winner uh, for the 2000 scholarship, and uh, Plymouth Regional High School, if you saw it in the union leader, uh, Stephen won. Just to note the fact, the entire family, I mean, we had all three boys, all three boys were recipients of that award. And they did, oh, here's my, my man. <coughs> and they did point out uh, that when they presented Stephen with the trophy and the check, that, uh, you know, it was fair and above board. Uh, I was uh, uh, kind of taken back to hear that comment. Uh, but yeah, they were quite, uh, I was quite proud of both, both, both recipients. Uh, we had a fun-filled night, Saturday night. I had 220, 220 kids at the prom. And it was a good time had by all, and the kids were remarkable. Uh, we had a presentation on Friday with the support of Katie. Uh, we put on the presentation Alex story. Uh, they, did, uh, they did a remarkable job, and the kids were outstanding that night. I don't know how many compliments I got from the wait staff and the people down at Concord, but uh, was real proud of them. This week, uh, uh, ninth graders are finishing their NEWAS, and uh, we have the kneecaps coming up, the science kneecaps. Uh, they were today and tomorrow, uh, Thursday. I mean, tomorrow and Thursday for the junior class. And tonight, I know you guys are busy, but uh, if you've never seen uh, a spring concert here at Plymouth Regional High School, I think you'd be taken back. Uh, Mr. Gunn has a 7 o'clock performance. Uh, they've been working hard at that. Senior class at Baccalaureate coming up this Sunday. The guest speaker is Brian Sutherland, the counselor for 10, 11, and 12. That's at 7 o'clock. Um, and then the following week, we are just out straight. Underclass awards and the senior video and the presentation of the yearbook. I have to give kudos to Mr. Fogarty and Ms. Anderson, the yearbook that hasn't been seen yet. I had, I had the good fortune of previewing it. It is outstanding. They did a remarkable job. And graduation is the fourth. And our commencement speaker is Dr. Phil, our own. I'm trying to get him to maybe sing a song or something, or <laughs> hopefully it's a song under two minutes. Uh, but uh, Dr. Phil is going to be our commencement speaker. Saturday at 9, Foley Gymnasium. Thank you. Thank you. S sorry, Jack, I may have stole some of your thunder, but... No, it's all right. Sorry, I was going to make it here. But um, I don't think there's a lot to report today. Um, I think the school board should know that today was the seniors' prank day. Uh, I think... I'm actually not 100% sure what they were doing, but I think they dressed up as tourists, and they were pretending to, uh, you know, tour the school and meet the teachers, uh, take photographs. I'm not really... 100% clear on that. I don't think they were either, actually, but um, that was today. I think Friday is the scheduled senior skip day as well. <laughs> um, I think Mr. Parsons covered everything else, though. <laughs> I guess I got all the good stuff. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> Where am I working next year? <laughs> Kids with hats and all that. <laughs> I was here today all day. So. <laughs> to let you know. 
We met last night. We approved the minutes for the April 18th minutes. Uh, we also discussed the architectural firms and how we are s inviting the three architectural firms to come and meet with us to review their fee schedules so that we can select one of them. Uh, we'll be, they'll be here on June 7th prior to the board meeting at 4 p.m. We then discuss the heating system, the generator position, position and movement, fencing, propane, and oil tanks. Uh, Mr. Halloran then distributed a timeline and schedule for the uh, takedown and installation of the new wood chip plant, heating system generators, propane tanks, and to remove the old ones. And Mr. Francis explained that all these phases and they're hoping to have the new biomass plant up by uh, in the end of September. We then talked, discussed the financing for this biomass plant. It, uh, Mr. Hallam reported that we are going to be saving $289,924.21 and with the one year reduction on the loan as well, uh, the payments as well. He would uh, like to bring this to the board to adopt the new resolution for the CTE projected to be financed with Sterling National Bank instead of municipal leasing. A motion was made by Mr. Deachman and seconded by Mr. Joyce to recommend the adoption of the new resolution for financing with Sterling National Bank to the full board. The vote was unanimous. So could we take a vote on the board level then? Yes, um, do please. I hear a motion yeah. to adopt the resolution with Sterling National Bank? So moved. Seconded by Ross. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And abstaining. Thank you. Uh, we then discussed the disposal of a donated truck. Mr. Halloran reported that the old truck was donated by Lakes Region Community College to Otto's Needs. Uh, to autos and it needs to be removed from the property. He asked the committee to approve for a Mr. Royer of Holderness to remove the truck from the school to use it as salvage. A motion was made by Miss Noyes and seconded by Mr. Joyce uh, to recommend to, this full, to the full board and this vote was unanimous. That needs to be a full board vote? Yes, please. Okay. So do I hear a motion to recommend the removal of the truck by Barbara, seconded by Peter. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed and <coughs> abstaining. And our next meeting is June 20th and we then adjourned at 525. Thank you. You're welcome. Policy and budget? Yes, we met immediately following uh, facilities. Um, we took up the minutes of uh, April 18th and they were approved as written. The first item was uh, substance was the proposal by uh, Mr. Austin that we look into uh, Alice, which is a new um, <coughs> method of response to uh, intrusion by uh, those not privileged to be here, um, and it's being recommended by the Chief of Employment. Uh, uh, we have uh, scheduled Chief to speak to our board on the 20th of um, June. Yes. Um, so uh, we want to hear a little more about it. It's a change, dramatic change in one sense from the uh, existing uh, recommended procedures. And so uh, before we uh, go any further, whether we want to have a, have a handle on it. Uh, so we will report back to you after we have the presentation. We would urge you to be here. I guess this is a regular night of a regular meeting anyway, right? Yes. So they will, yep. you will be able to have to come in It's early. a committee, regular committee meeting. He'll be in policy and budget. Okay. And he'll lead off at 5.15. Okay. So we need uh, as many of you to participate in that by attending as possible because what will be uh, discussed will not be able to be repeated in the sense of it will not, I will not be able to remember enough. And, Sure, Janice won't to uh, get the effect of what is being uh, proposed, and, uh, and I'd like you to hear it directly from Steve, who's gone through the training and 
uh, Todd is recommending it. Um, athletic travel policy, uh, Mr. Pettengill reported that the committee has met and is, uh, has some other uh, information to gather and that they'll be back to us at a later date with a proposal, uh, even if it's just to maintain our present uh, policy. Um, the next item to come up was a uh, concern by uh, Lisa Rash with respect to our uh, dog and other animals on school property. Uh, we had a very lively discussion uh, about it and uh, I'm going to take it under review. Uh, and uh, we didn't have a specific proposal and uh, Mrs. Ash is going to come up with a specific proposal to uh, deal with uh, the issue of dogs. Uh, so uh, that will come back to us uh, at a later date. Uh, we next went over revenues and appropriations. Uh, revenues are slightly behind, uh, but some of it is a function of the federal government's uh, releasing money, uh, the sending in of um, money by the respective sending districts and the um, sending districts, I guess, but by the respective uh, member districts um, and a few other odds and ends, but the appropriations, I mean, the revenues look like they will be on target when we're done. Uh, appropriations, we went through, most of you were here last, part, last night, I won't bore you with all the details. We, uh, at the moment, are in good shape financially uh, with appropriations, uh, but we still have year-end uh, wrap-up uh, of a number of items and so we're unable at this point to uh, determine uh, what kind of a uh, surplus we have, but we're very confident we're going to make our unreserved fund balance. Um, Mr. Parsons, uh, I think in um, response to what happened in Manchester, uh, wants to review our prom um, policy and full contract, and we will take that up at our next meeting um, with respect to uh, the age uh, that, uh, and, and the class that, uh, classes that are allowed to attend the prom. Um, there was nothing else to come up with. Committee and Mr. Petgill uh, moved and I have a second and we close the meeting. Thank you. Program staffing. Our meeting last night at 5.30. Um, minutes were approved from April 18th. Mr. Parsons uh, distributed copies of the uh, list of number of AP students who took the AP exam this year, uh, reviewed it with the committee. This was informational only as we had discussed at a prior meeting. Um, Mr. Parsons also brought us the course description for the new English 9-2 course. Uh, the course description was reviewed by the committee. This course was previously approved by the board and was informational only. Uh, support staff nominations. Uh, we'll do that in non-public. And we went into non-public session at 6.30. Um, and after that, the meeting adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And SCC, remind us when the next meeting is, Melinda or Barbara? It's in the fall. In the fall. Mm -hmm. We don't have a date yet. Okay. Thank you. Discussion items? I have no other business, Madam Chair. It's taken care of in committee. Board member concerns? I'd just like to remind board members that the SAU meeting is next Thursday, 6 o'clock? Yes, six right, right here in this building in the library. And encourage everyone to come to that. Do That's I, the 26th. 26th, yes. Do I hear a motion to go into non-public for personnel? Peter, seconded by Lisa. 